How you doing? I'm David Sanchezzi and I'm here to talk about the news of the day. All right, I just want to say I haven't been on for a couple of days because I just presently got off of some knee surgery that I have. Actually been in for a little while. Still got my wristband on. Oh, there it is. All right, got it uh, late last night. So I was preparing the last couple of days for it. So now I'm back uh, getting over my grogginess, but I want to say thank you for coming here. And I want to get into something right now. I just had to do a video today because I wanted to talk about what happened in Virginia. It's a big deal and I wanted to talk about and debunk, debunk the myth that's all over the mainstream media, I guess you call it, the fake news media that we like to call it, of how the reason Virginia was won because the people in Virginia are racist. It's white supremacists shining, shining out as they always say, that is their calling card. They actually can't have a real conversation and talk about how Marxist socialists are being just not accepted any longer in this country. People are rising up, people are tired, and they still try to cheat, as always. However, and it's what I always tell you guys, it's what I've been saying, you have to get involved. And if you look at what happened in Virginia, they got involved. We had poll watchers out there by a margin of two to one, Republican or conservatives, to the Democrats, okay? And we were able to watch everything going on. They were watching Wi-Fi out there. They were watching everything that came in and it was important to do because we know what would have happened if they didn't. They tried some shenanigans in Fairfax, as we know, they were trying other stuff. Even in New Jersey, where it was a close race, I believe they weren't able to stop the steal because it's a tried and true blue, blue Democrat state and they know how to do it. And they did things there, I believe that prevented the, the the new guy from coming in and winning and they're going to do a recount on that but it's going to be hard because once they went to the mail-in ballots we know what's going to happen and i think they're counting the mail-in ballots until january 8th what what kind of election is that election day election month election year january 8th they're going to be counting the ballots too. i watched this this phone call on uh lady called in and she did a video and was asking them questions about how many votes are in they had no idea how many are they gonna count they have no idea how many have they done so far they have no idea and all they know is they're gonna be counting till January 8th in New Jersey it's a disgrace what happened but those are the things we have to attack little by little hopefully Yunkin goes into Virginia and and clears up the the voter rolls I read where there was 398,000 unknown voters they are un voters that they can't even account for so hopefully he goes in and cleans up this mess and we start to have free and fair elections and this is why I tell you you have to get involved some way going to your school boards getting involved in elections being out there and and, and just doing your part your civic duties because we all have a duty now to help clean up this country for our children, for our grandchildren, all right? But I want to get into this right now. I want to talk about how the mainstream media had meltdowns and was just going berserk and calling the reason why the Virginia race change is because of racism. Listen to this. Nicole Wallace, Glenn Youngkin has laundered Trump's really sort of disgusting, flagrant out racism by putting it in a disguise and wrapping his campaign in two big lies and opposing CRT when there isn't any. And we know that's not true because all they can do is lie. Nothing they say is true. That's why they have to continuously lie to cover up the next lie and the next lie and the next lie. Listen to this meltdown here. Check this out. Here you go. I guess I don't want to be the skunk at the garden party, but I think there's a sense among Republicans that what Youngkin did was where Trump ran as a guy who wasn't gonna, who was gonna ban all Muslims, who Mexicans were rapists and murderers, um, black people came from bleep whole countries. He was such an uncouth and flagrant, you know, debased. There was no conversation about race under him. It was, um, it was beneath even people who said they voted for him. What Yunkin has done is he put it in a disguise. Yes. He gave it a fake name, mm -hmm. and his candidacy is wrapped in two big lies. One is this half truth. I'm I flew an insurrection flag at my rally, but oh, Trump's at right. arm's length, arm length. There's Trump. Yeah. And the second big lie is that his his can I watched his rally last Saturday. His his campaign promise, and he was making this promise in Loudon and in Alexandria is on day one. 
I'm going to ban critical race theory. That is like us banning the ghosts. Right. right. There are no ghosts. <laughs> so we can say, you know what, 7 p.m. we're banning the ghosts. There are no ghosts. There isn't critical race theory talk. But what exactly. he's done is he's laundered Trump's really sort of disgusting, flagrant out yeah. racism. He's wrapped it in education yeah. and he's given it a lie as a label. And they said he's going to ban it. There isn't any critical okay. race theory. It's a legal theory not taught in public schools. It's in so powerful. And that is why you don't want your children taught critical race theory. Nicole Wallace is either a brainwashed, brain dead, leftist lunatic, or she just wants to make money and will say anything. She's a, she's a money whore and will say anything to get paid by MSNBC. Now, if you watch it, I could show you more videos about how they were melting down and how they were just saying everything is racist because that's all they have. They, they, they don't look at the fact that Americans don't, no one, I wouldn't even say Americans, people don't want to be told that, or, or, or have their children taught that they're racist from birth. I'm a Hispanic male and there's no way I would leave my child in a school where they're teaching them that his race is, is, is bad. And I wouldn't expect anyone, white people, black people, anyone to have their child sit there and be belittled and taught that his that that his race is bad or that he's born racist and stuff like that. I think it's a disgrace that we've gotten to this point in America. Many people have fought and died to have equality. And of course, listen, there's always going to be racism. There's always going to be some people. But I honestly believe in my heart, in America today, most people are not racist. You have a small segment of our society of people who are bigots. Who don't really understand what people from other other races you know they're how they're brought up but that's going to be and they'll always have that but i don't think most people are like that i believe most people in america are caring people who love thy neighbor if you listen to people on msnbc if you listen to people on cnn they would make you think when you walk outside your life is in danger and we know that's not true where I live, I have I have white neighbors, I have Asian neighbors, I have black folks that live across the street from me, I have a couple of Hispanic folks that live right next door to me, I have it all. I live in a very diverse community and nobody hates each other. And if you don't like someone, it might be because of what they're doing, but it's not because of their race. And I, I honestly believe that's the way most of America is today. It's not like it used to be 70 years ago. I just, I just don't see it like that. But I want to go on now, and I'm going to debunk this madness, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that these people are just insane. They have no ideas. They really can't win on ideas, so they have to ostracize and demonize people. And that's the only way that they can win, because they have a whole population of brainwashed college students that have grown up to be adults, and this is what they live by. And we have to somehow wake these people up and see what they're being taught is wrong that all people have to be treat, treated equally whether you're black whether you're hispanic whether you're white whether you're asian we have to and i believe most people do treat people like that but these people are just obsessed with race if you talk about a rock somehow it turned into how the rock is racist now i want to show you something okay we had lieutenant governor we already know who won the governorship right so let's see who ran on the who ran as a lieutenant governor well, here you go. Hala Ayala. Oh, a Hispanic woman. So, good chance it was racist, wasn't it? Now, let's see who beat her. Oh, my Lord. A Republican black woman. And I would never even care about someone's race. But this is what they do. And I want to show you. So, a Hispanic woman lost. And a hardcore conservative black woman from the Marines won. And somehow that's racist. This is what they think. So the people were there, you figure they would have voted for the Hispanic woman because they have to because if you don't, it's racist. But then they voted for a black woman who was the first, first lieutenant governor in the history of Virginia. But of course, the MSNBC, the CNNs don't really talk about it. They're not talking about how it's a big deal. If she was a Democrat, believe me, it'd be 24-hour nonstop coverage and it's the service to this woman because... I watched her speak and it was really great to hear what she had to say. The things she was saying about our country, the way she was saying the country, how you can progress in this country, was really awesome to listen to this woman speak. So let's go over to the next one, which was the AG, right? The former AG, a white guy, Democrat Party, right? I guess every white person would vote for him because 
the KKK was Democrats and they were all right, right? So, who ran against him? Jason Miares. Huh? Virginia's first Latino attorney general. All those racists, what are they doing? It's crazy. Republican Jason S. Miares has upset two-term Democrat incumbent to become Virginia's next attorney general, making him the first Latino elected to the office in the history of the state. So all the racists didn't vote for a white guy, they voted for a Latino guy. Whoa, what is going on with those racists? Do they not understand what they're supposed to do? I know it's a little satirical, maybe not even funny, but it's just to show how depraved these psycho lunatics are, that nothing they tell us anymore is true. How does Michelle Wallace go home and look at herself in the mirror and honestly see herself as a serious person or even as a news anchor? She's just straight up propaganda from the China, China CCP, from the Russian propaganda machine, from Iran. I mean, she's no different from those people. She could not look herself in the face and say that she's an honest journalist. And we're not even going to get to what they were saying on CNN and all the other lunatics. But I had to show you this because it's just disturbing to hear that when I, I watch the news. I don't even know if I could call it news, but you watch these people. And unfortunately, millions of Americans turn their TV on to see this and are like in shock and believe this stuff. We have to start holding these people accountable because what they do is disgusting. It really is disgusting. And... I want to make this short today, so I want you to show this, and we can debunk. And we could debunk everything these people on MSNBC say, CNN say when they say that the people in Virginia are just flat out racist. Then again, if you're Hispanic or if you're black and you're Republican, they call you a supporter of white supremacy. So that's that's where we are. But anyway. No one's really paying these people no mind except for the people who are brainwashed out of these colleges or the hardcore leftists. And if you really look at the people who switched over and voted in Virginia, a lot of them were people who voted Democrat in the past. So I think they're starting to see what's going on. When your children are attacked, I think that wakes people up more than anyone because most people will take the blows for themselves. But when it comes to your children, that's a whole different animal. Anyway, just want to fill you in to show you that what's happened in Virginia is a total lie that the people who won were deserving of it, whether they were white, black, or Hispanic. I honestly believe that people who are joining the Republican Party, people who are now in the Republican Party, honestly don't look at race. They look at who the people are, unlike the Democrats. That's all they care about. And I find it funny because they're still being run by white Democrats and they call everybody else racist. If that's the case, there should be no white Democrats even in office. Anyway, I hate talking about race like this because it's upsetting and I, I thought we were beyond this in this country, but I guess we really have to address it because this is what's going on. Anyway, thanks for watching. God bless America. God bless all of you. God bless our president, Donald J. Trump, and God bless these newly elected leaders of Virginia, hopefully, 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 they will clean up the voting rolls and they will take us in the right direction because this country needs them and it needs good leaders. Thanks for watching.